YouTube this is Kristen Moonrise welcome back to my channel and I'm going to piggyback off of my last video which is on this upcoming super full moon in Capricorn on Monday July 3rd and if you're in Houston it'll be at 6 38 a.m. Um, just after the moon sets and as the sun is rising so it's good best to catch the moon at her fullest especially since this is a super full moon right as she's setting if you're in the Houston area. So this is going to be an oracle card reading for this um, super full moon. And so just recapping my take on it, um, Capricorn is about structure and leadership and professional reputation and seeing your strategy through. Um, but since this is a full moon and it's all about releasing, uh, my take on it is that uh, we need to definitely see that leisure is just as useful as hard work when it comes to um, the things that we want to achieve. So I would say that um, we should definitely take a step back from beast mode. And if you're hitting any blocks to try to incorporate rest and leisure into your strategy as your body and your mind, you know, you want to be able to see the fruits of your labor and in that case, you definitely want to make sure that you take a break, really rest and relax, recoup, look at your strategy, reassess as necessary. So don't work yourself tired. That's not necessarily going to be beneficial to you to just keep going and going and going. Um, it needs to leisure and rest needs to be part of your goal setting and self care also. So I saw with me being a data scientist, I was more active um, on as when I was more active on LinkedIn last year and earlier this year there was so much going on in the tech industry and people signing up for these boot camps and chasing all these certifications and it sends everybody into you know this whirlwind of always chasing and just running themselves crazy trying to get to a goal and I really saw how that took a toll on a lot of people and I actually kind of got caught in a little bit of that too and I just had to take a step back and say, you know, that doesn't necessarily feel good to me. I don't think that for me, at least, being on like that and chasing like that was very, I didn't feel like it was very beneficial for me or very helpful. And um, so just what is the real strategy and what is the real goal? I mean, we can talk so much about the um, job market and tech in particular, but it's when it comes to Capricorn, but you know basically with the structures are changing you know the job market is changing banks systems are changing politics and things are changing the overall structures are changing so this is a perfect opportunity for this full moon in capricorn to really reassess your own structures and how are they how are you restructuring your life as things change on the outside on the macro level how are you re how are you restructuring your um, strategies and the way you live your life and your systems at home um, with all of, on the micro level, basically. So before I, I forget about the Oracle cards, I just, I'm just going to read them off quite quickly. Oop, balance. So there definitely needs to be some balance between work and play. We definitely need to make sure that it's not all work. We can absolutely make sure that we have fun while we are going hard on our goals. So this is absolutely a time for, sorry, for the glare, for adaptation. We need to definitely, you know, think about what our goals are and adapt as necessary. So care, this is definitely a time to take care of yourself, um, take care of your appearance, take care of your body, take care of what you are putting in your body, what you're eating, making sure you're getting enough rest. Um, we all like to go hard on our goals, but absolutely make sure that you're taking care of yourself in the process because what good are you if you're not able to enjoy the fruits of your labor? This one is pretty self-explanatory. Rest. Make sure to incorporate rest. You know, we um, cannot 
deny the importance of a good eight hours a uh, night's rest. Stillness. It's really good to just sit in the stillness, get your um, downloads as you're sitting in stillness, and really just allow yourself to allow yourself to just kind of take it down a notch and really be able to sit with yourself. There's a, there's a lot of people out there that are constantly like on go all the time even when they're re even when they're at home they're just you know they're it's like stillness is something that they just don't do they don't take that into account um there's always noise going on they're always up and up and about their energy may be kind of nervous too so i think this is a good time to really just be still and really assess the situation assess you know the structures that are you know the things that are changing in our world and society now and what benefits you and what doesn't benefit you release what no longer serves incorporate joy remember that strategies don't necessarily have to be rigid or unenjoyable you absolutely can enjoy um your goals it doesn't have to be something that's backbreaking um hard work definitely incorporate joy as you are going farther into um you know meeting that goal that you have meeting those desires making those desires a reality for yourself and enjoy the process and this is a time for you to be creative this is no longer we don't we no longer live in a world where things are created for us i mean that still does exist but we absolutely have the have the option to create what we want to live. We have the options to work from home. We have the option to work remotely, start our own businesses. We are really in control. So definitely let go of the fact that things are going to be prefabricated for you. You have the freedom to be creative with how you want your life to be. So, um, I also will leave the journaling questions from the previous video in the description box. Um, or I, I don't know if I want to call them journaling questions or, or action steps. I kind of like things to be um, a little bit less abstract. And what action steps can you really do or journaling questions? I might just call them both for this full moon in Capricorn. So those will be in the description box. And in my previous video, I read them out loud and they're also in that description box too. So let your hard work be your inner work. Um, you know, yes, hard work is good, but make sure that you pace yourself. And really the work should really be how you are changing and how you are developing into the next level version of yourself and not so much you know, make sure that your work transforms you in a good way and that you're not going hard for someone else's goals. Make sure that what you're working hard towards actually does benefit you primarily and your family and whatever else you have responsibility for. So this is a time to reevaluate your systems. If you're hitting roadblocks, things are getting tense, definitely reevaluate systems. Be still, take a break, you know, um, detach for a little bit and see how you can create and recreate something that fits a lot better. Again, strategy doesn't have to be rigid or unenjoyable and your body should be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor at the end of the day. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you can definitely check out my website for more offerings. There is gonna be a lot more things that I'm gonna add to my website. I'm going to add more courses. I'm going to add more offerings and many other things to come. So definitely stay tuned to what's upcoming. Again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.